have my doctoral degree in history from Victoria University. I'm working as teacher in the education department, so please elaborate. Elaborate on uh, pursuing your doctoral degree in New Zealand? Okay, fantastic. We are looking at attracting the researchers into our country because uh, we want to grow as a knowledge economy. We want to grow as a, a knowledge power base. Uh, so that's the reason we have uh, identified three uh, sectors as our future growth area. So there is information technology, there is biotechnology and creative industries are our identified future growth areas in New Zealand. We are also trying very hard to attract researchers into New Zealand because we, this country has got a very, very conducive atmosphere for researchers and you know some we don't have a lot of universities we only have eight of them but all eight of them are good in terms of uh, a lovely environment to do your research so i mean very well welcome Rishad. i think uh, in the recent past there's also been a good flow of uh, uh, you know uh, research students into uh, new zealand and we are encouraging them to come to, uh, to new zealand in fact uh, the government has changed the policy around to make it so attractive for researchers to come to New Zealand that you get uh, your research at uh, your PhD, your research studies at uh, domestic student rates and you get full work visa. Uh, if you're married, your spouse will get full work visa. If you have kids, the kids will get student visas and free um, education or, you know, whatever is the subsidized education here in New Zealand. So they're absolutely and, you know, if your research proposal is really, really good, there's a very good chance you might also end up getting the full uh, uh, funding from the university. I mean, few universities do have funds uh, to, pro, you know, uh, propagate some of the research that they're doing. So we would be delighted to work with you, Ishad. So.